Hi everyone! I just wanted to make a quick real-time tutorial for painting this hard surface uh, stylized technique. Right now I'm painting fish bones, all in one layer in Blender, and a couple of people have asked me how I've done this. So I wanted to make a real-time tutorial for just a simple little piece so you guys get a better idea. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that uh, with this piece here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into texture paint mode, and I'm going to use the mask mode here to isolate these holes here. And I'm going to fill them with a darker color, just like so, just so we can see them a little more easily. I'm also going to turn on cavity, just so I can kind of see what I'm doing just for the minute. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this again so that I can isolate those holes so I'm not painting over that. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go into soft round brush. I'm going to make it big with pressure sensitivity. And then I'm going to go in and just block in some values, just really soft with pressure sensitivity. I'm going to look at my reference, which is telling me that the brightest part of the metal is in the middle. And there's some color variations. I'm going to add a little bit of green, a little bit of orange. Since this is a metal, it's going to reflect its environment and have color variation in it. I want to kind of capture that. Perfect. I'm going to really try and emphasize the fact that the brightest part of the model is in the middle with some highlights. Do that to start. And I'm going to go in with an even lighter color. I start adding some streaks. Kind of like create a fake anisotropy with this directional cylindrical form. That's why these strokes are horizontal like this. And I'm starting from big to small, locking in a dark core tone up here and a mid tone here. And then kind of blurring my eyes to see what the brightest tones might be with my smallest brush, just gently blocking it in with that soft brush. And then kind of trying to refine those warm colors just a little bit. Shifting my hues around just to keep them interesting. Just like that. And I'm thinking a lot about the edges of my colors and the soft and hard transitions between them. So like right here, I'm thinking about making the difference between this view, this hue and this hue, different values and strengthening that hard edge between them and then softening that edge where I want it to be less distracting. To use my masking tool again, I'm just going to grab these vertices. I'm going to grab my lightest color. I'm just going to paint this in like this. This here and grab a darker color and shrink my brush down. Just kind of paint the dark tones and keeping that idea that the brightest tone is on the edges of the model and in the center. Get a little bit lighter so you can see I'm looking over here on the, le on the left side. Trying to make sure it reads well from a distance, not just up close. That's why I have two screens open. I'm going to go ahead and make this one a darker color because it's not facing the light, it's facing away from the light. We're just trying to recreate the idea of light when we're painting, especially in the arcane style. They're very, very good at it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paint in a dark color here because this plane is facing away from the light. This plane isn't, so I'm going to go ahead and add in that lighter color in the middle. Once again, make sure I have my holes masked out here. I'm going to add my lightest tone. Slightly darker tone down here. And then I'm going to use this light brush and kind of just trace the edges of these holes as if they were kind of like puckering out and catching the light. And that kind of almost looks like they've got an edge. Let me make it just a little bit darker. So it feels like it's recessing in a little bit deeper. And then finally add these cracks just to give it a little bit of faux ambient occlusion. Maybe one last dark one down here to really sell that. And maybe a tiny bit of bounce light. And there we go. There is metal painted in the arcane style.